Hey everybody, Zyle here. Uh, welcome back to another uh, playthrough, beginning a new playthrough of uh, Mind Over Mages, or Mage Over Mind. Mages not included. So I decided to start again. Like, uh, as anyone who's been watching the series, uh, the last episode of my last playthrough, um, there was a bit of an epic wipe at the end, but things have been slowly down spiraling into uh, chaos. Uh, we had, I think, four deaths, and then with that last uh, fight that I took on, which was clearly too difficult for um, what I was prepared for, uh, two mages were dead, two were knocked unconscious, and it seemed to me that the mistakes that had been made, the learning process had just compounded to the point where it was time to restart and retire that uh, school of jank. Um, I've learned a lot on that playthrough. I have a better understanding about how to play the beginning game and uh, mistakes that I made and things I need to do and things that I shouldn't have uh, focused on um, as far as how things go. Uh, I underestimated uh, how bad conviction can be. Uh, I'm relentless. I need to focus more on that. And certainly in the early game, uh, I was pushing the fog too hard and wasting resources, which didn't allow me to move fast enough. There's just a lot of little things I learned that now I think that when I, I do another playthrough, I'm going to get off to a much better start and progress things along, hopefully more quickly. It is a pretty grindy game for sure, uh, but it's a lot of fun. So uh, here we are with our, we're starting on relentless difficulty, of course, and we get two starting staff. So I've, uh, you know, re-rolled until I got uh, to them satisfied with. And we have Paige, who is a nature mage uh, because um, they get uh, bonuses to gathering. And of course we have Gwendolyn, who is an earth mage and they get bonuses to mining and constructing. Um, and they don't get bonuses assembling, that's the air, and we'll pick one of those up later. Uh, so, but these will be the initial two, they'll, they'll have uh, bonuses uh, into uh, a lot of stuff you do in the early game. You do a lot of building early on, you do a lot of gathering early on, you do a lot of mining early on, so they're going to be very, very useful for, for those things, as well as for uh, Paige. Uh, she has boosted mana and speed, and she has boosted H HP and mana. I think those are very good starting medallions. And Gwendolyn has boosted HP, and because of the uh, he's the uh, stitched, uh, uh, the vivified, he automatically gets also a double HP base, uh, or what, however it works. Um, and so now he's at 235. That'll be quite good for the early game. And then, of course, then I got speed, power, and HP boosted from the second one. So all that's going to add up. I think that these are going to be uh, solid, solid two starting staff members. So let's found the school. All right, so we're spawned in, and the very first thing we have to do, as you can see, there's nothing that we can see much of other than our basic devices. So, um, book of rituals, student summoner, and of course the manifon. So, first thing we gotta do is repel fog. That's to unlock the map. So we'll just grab one of our staff, throw her on there, let it run, and there we go. So. Once, uh, once you unlock the map, I will always pause the game and have a quick look at a few things so we can see what kind of terrain we're dealing with. It looks like a, I have a plateau and then it steps down, which is cool. I like that design. Um, here we have our base foundation. And we, of course, don't have the ability to expand that base foundation, so everything is going to be very limited within this space, right? Um, okay, so the first thing I do is I want to check what are my random room designation type things. Uh, so classrooms, the uh, basic and the intermediate, uh, they have no room requirements. So I don't have to worry about those bedrooms. And, and one thing I'm looking for is ones that have weird things like uh, skewed and so on. Um, but especially also keep track how many ones are going to be private. That will dictate a little bit about how I will set up the the initial plan for the base. Um, so, austere bedroom is going to be something that we will work towards uh, as an initial uh, bedroom. And it's going to have to be skewed. So that's with the, uh, the roofs where one of the outer walls is at least three blocks taller than the other. Okay, um, so we'll keep that in mind. Dining rooms, the dining room for our staff is going to have to be lofted which means that uh, it's taller than it's wide. So that's also important to know. And the mess hall for the students is gonna to need to be private. Okay, so I already see I have one private. I'm gonna 
need at some point. Uh, workshops, very important, the basic workshop. It has to be grounded, so that's important to know. I'm going to have to have it on the ground floor. And since I'll be building that very early, that's already starting to dis make me decide how I'm going to build the space. As well as we'll need a cooking. Oh, so our cooking has to be elevated, uh, the scullery. Uh, we're going to be a while till we can get that kitchen, so we'll go for a scullery. That's pretty easy to do. I'll end up building um, like a, a wing up off the second floor out and overhang it, so then it will be considered lofted. So we'll be able to deal with that. So we know we have to have workshop on the ground floor, and we have to have a uh, like a like a second floor outshoot ledge for uh, the scullery. And so one side will end up putting the scullery if it's the only one we need elevated, and the other side will be where we start doing gardening. Um, Rec rooms. It'll be a while for a conservatory, oh, but it needs to be skewed and grounded. So I'm kind of going to keep that in mind, but it is until I can hit 25 or greater luxury. That, that's uh, going to be a while. So I'm not too concerned about it needing to be have those special requirements. I, I will be able to sort of adjust things later in. So I don't think I'm going to pay too much attention to that one. Um, medical room will be very important. Infirmary is very hard to get set up, so you also don't have to worry so much about it, but it just has to be private, so that's not a big deal. I like to put it in place so that later I can turn it into a medical room, but uh, for now, it's not going to matter because I will not be getting incense burners for a while. And then, so, but just keep in mind, another private, uh, ritual rooms. Assembly hall has no requirements other than luxury and auditorium has to be grounded. By the time I go to it for uh, auditorium, I will have foundations online. So I will uh, be building outwards and then I can throw in uh, appropriate auditorium room and then great hall, uh, grounded and lofted. Um, and again, so I'll keep that in mind so my auditorium can become a great hall at some point. So not that's not a very big deal at all. Any miscellaneous I should worry about? Not really, not really. So I kind of have the general idea of the kind of things I'm dealing with. I know the two buildings that uh, early on are going to have some uh, requirements, meaning the scullery and the uh, workshop. Um, but also, uh, I know that I'm going to be dealing with a lot of private rooms, which will work for initial build. So now that I know what I kind of need, the first thing I want to do is go and look at priorities, okay? And the way I'm going to set this up is uh, regarding research. So I know that once I get research online, I'm going to want this guy to be doing it as well as the uh, spirit. Um, and then I'm just going to go up one on the things they're good at. So they will generally focus on the things they're good at. And then the same thing with the other one. I'm just going to focus up one just on the main things that she's extra good at. So that'll kind of set the priorities up. And the other thing I'll do is tell the spirit to clean as a priority over anything else. Because if you start having messes in the kitchen, it's going to become a very big problem. Um, so once that's done, the initial resources that I'm gonna require is important for building. And so as you can see here, we uh, have nothing right now. And so what we are gonna require, and, and the way I do this so I don't mine out too far, as I sort of center the map and I simply double click on trees and you can see it selects them all and I just go chop, no priority. Uh, then I know I need stone, so I'll double click on stone and it'll sort of hit all the ones on the map and I'll go mine. And then I also know I'm gonna need this, these gut berries for food, so I'll do the same thing and I will harvest. And I know that I will need a little bit of iron, not a whole lot, so I don't wanna to waste too much time on the iron, so I will select that closest mines, maybe just three of them, because uh, when they're making decisions about what they want to do, the priority system, if it uh, has a, a tiebreaker, it's going to go for the closest item. And the last thing is, is I know I will need some uh, dire rat stuff. So initially, I'm just going to pick uh, a couple of close ones and set them for hunt. Okay. So those are the things I'm going to need initially, uh, right out of the gate. And so once I have all that done, um, pretty much set to start them to get to work. So we will just simply unpause and let them gather up some materials and uh, the reason is why we're doing this so specifically is because the first day is critically important to get certain things done before the day ends so i'll get into that as we go so let's get them to get some materials
Okay, now I'm just going to pause for a second to explain something. So you can see that right now on meals, we have 14 gut berry, okay? So now we kind of, as soon as we have some gut berry built up, uh, I'm going to go to the gut berry vines, select the ones that I have. Remember, I'm still centering my map, so I'm zoning out. And I'm simply going to go cancel harvest because I have enough to last me for a day or two, and I don't want them to focus their attention on that, okay? Uh, as well as I'll pay attention to iron. And usually when I get to about... 20 i will also turn off the iron because i really need to focus on wooden stone only at the beginning and the rats the uh, let them kill the ones i selected okay so now i've got enough uh, 18 iron i'm just gonna select this and cancel mining on that um, because I, I'm starting to see wood coming in. And one of the more, most important ones, though, is the stone. So I'm going to prioritize four to that for a little bit and start to get the stone. You're going to use a lot of stone at the beginning. So I have a, a nice, decent supply of wood. I want them to focus on stone now. And they'll still make uh, priority decisions based on uh, the way I set the priorities up. So she's still going to go after trees and other things generally, but the other guy will go after mining the stones as a priority. And I'll wait till about now, and as soon as I get about 50 stone, okay, so now I have 200 wood and 50 stone. So we are ready to start laying some foundations down. So uh, what I'm going to do is start to just outline how I want things to go. So I know this is my outer edge, and I'm just going to simply place a block there. Um, just to help me plan and I know that's my other outer edge and then I also know that I need over here I'm gonna need one two three four uh, yeah I'm gonna need about that much space I need four space and there's a reason for that I'm gonna put that there and then I know that I'm also gonna segregate off this is gonna be a massive storage room uh, area it's just gonna be a general room so I'm just gonna leave that as it is Okay, and then over here, I know that I'm going to be making a workshop. And I also know this is one, two, three, two, three, there. So it's going to fit perfectly. And so we're going to kind of do that. And we're going to go five. We're going to go four high for this. Okay, so four high. And that's how we're going to start that. And over here, we're going to do pretty much the same thing go that high okay so that's kind of the, the general layout now the really important thing of course is make sure you don't trap people outside so what you have to do is now put a uh, archway so they can get through on all those and then that's going to be the first thing I want to see built now what we're going to do we're going to once again click uh, double click on the stones pick them all up we're going to drop that priority back down to three because we want them to start building. Did I do this right? I think so. So this is a check. Why I'm building this is because one of the most important things to get down early on is going to be, yeah, I, so I, I, I actually, uh, I made this wrong. But we'll just put those down and we can fix this easy enough. So all we have to do is just go cancel. It was canceled, I just mis mismeasured that. Oops, canceled my, uh, I canceled my cots, so. I mean, you can always do the cots uh, first, too, just to space it out and make sure you don't have any errors, so. Uh, we'll put two cots, okay? Uh, and then we'll go back and fix this. We'll get our wall, and it goes here, because you need a space for them to be able to walk to the beds. Right? They, can't, they can't walk through objects. Um, so that's there, and then we'll have to uh, re-put that hallway, so. Okay, so that'll all be good. Let me let get that going. The reason that we, we're building cots so quickly, and even though this is not going to be a bedroom, this is just temporary for them to sleep, is because if we go and look at their status and conviction chart, you can see they're going to suffer conviction penalties based on what's going on. They're already taking a minus 10 because they want to do something recreationally. 
right? Uh, we'll solve that soon enough. But if they sleep outside and they sleep on the ground, which will happen if you have no beds, they're going to get a minus 30. And that's very aggressive. In fact, within a couple days, you can spiral them out where they start breaking down simply because they, they end up sleeping outside. So it is real critical. Uh, you don't have to put it where it needs to be. It doesn't have to be the bedroom. It just has to be a room so that they can say we didn't sleep outside and then also so that they slept in a cot. So that is why I put these here. Then we'll repurpose this room for something later once we build them some proper bedrooms. So we don't have time to go building up and figure out where their rooms are going to be and make them proper. Uh, we'll, we'll, they'll, they'll have conviction breakdowns if, uh, if we don't get on top of some of these things immediately. I pretty much just sort of let them build the cots, um, get those done, and build that, that first little bit that I want. Okay, and once that's kind of laid out, now I'm going to do some additional changes. So one thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to use wood here and put a roof over their heads, which will end up making this a room. But then we're also going to need light. If you don't have light, and this is light, needs to have uh, viscera. So that's rat killing. So we have the hunt there. We're gonna just up that to four so we can get our hands on some. And maybe we'll grab one more rat uh, and go hunt and say four on that. Um, because we need to put lights in. If you don't have lights in rooms, then you're gonna get these things called void shrooms. And the void shrooms are going to, whenever a mage comes near it, it's gonna drain their mana and they're actually, uh, they'll lose some mana, but they'll, they'll get a, a conviction penalty. And that's another thing that can start causing them to get very upset if they're encountering void shrooms. So the general rule is don't have rooms without full lighting. And we'll get into that in a minute as soon as I build them. So let's actually go again. Okay, I don't give them too much to do initially. Uh, I, I just want them to be gathering resources and building this first setup. And once this is done, we can focus on the other one. Okay, you can see this has become a room. And if I go check the light, it's pitch black, and that's no good. So the only lighting we have is torches. So let's go green. And I like to place them um, up one and then three back. So we just put one in there, and then we put one on the other side, and it looks pretty cool. Um, but then, because uh, I want this done quickly, so we just tell them to do a five on that. And we get those built ASAP. Okay, now notice they have the built, and it's lit. So this will cause void shrooms to not grow here. Next, we have to focus on this, and it's our crafting room. So it's gonna. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go into the crafting tab, and we're going to take arcane secretary, which is what we do for research, and we're gonna build two of them. Okay, because research is very important, and you get multiple people researching. Um, so that is really, really important to get done. I'm not gonna prioritize it. I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. And, but also, we are going to enclose this, just like that. And they will build all that, and then we'll, we'll take it from there. almost done but again you're gonna see that this of course would be dark so we have to go and just make sure we can make lights uh, I went green over there maybe we'll go blue on this side and unfortunately this is in my way for another second okay so we'll go back uh, three back on that side and we'll put one here that should be enough um, and now uh, once again I'm just because I'm so nervous about the void streams. I know it takes a day or two before they'll appear, but uh, I just prioritized it to get it done quickly. Okay, 
so this is this is completed. So the next step of what we want to do, which is going to provide us with the most immediate benefit, is to get the research going. And we'd already set the priorities up. So I'm going to the research tab, okay? And you have a couple options. You either can go for dance the night away because they're suffering a minus 10 conviction currently from, uh, as we'll see, we'll have a look at, uh, at, at Gwendolyn. And uh, see, they're getting craving uh, recreation. They're getting a minus 10 from that, right? And also, they are going to get the negatives from the food, okay? Um, minus 15 when they eat this. Okay, so you have to balance that. Do we, we can get rid of minus 10 if we go down the convict, uh, the uh, entertainment route. Um, so, but if we look in here and we research, we're getting minus 15 for raw food. If we were to start to uh, grow domesticated gut berries, that's going to be very important to stabilize. But we do have a lot of gut berries around. So the other one though is to get the kitchen going. And you can see gut berry soup, conviction minus 10 when eating. So that's only going to get you a net benefit of five, whereas this is going to get you a, be a net benefit of 10. Uh, it does require you to do two researches as opposed to just one, but you're also gonna get chests, which can be very important for storing things. So basically this is always the route I go, and I go set research through it. So I'm gonna get both of these done. And so that's ready to go, and we're gonna see, they're gonna prioritize research. And so two of them working out, it's gonna work out very quickly. And remember, we're gonna be okay for the first night. We have uh, 12 meals, which is fine and they have beds to sleep in. So their conviction will be okay for one night. And you see how fast that research goes. At the early levels of the research is it's, it's fairly quick to get done. We are not even to the sleep period yet. You can see by the schedule, uh, they don't sleep until this block here, okay? And then the other thing that we're gonna do now that we're, we're past that point, just stop it for a second, and I'm gonna actually take this and take this, and I'm gonna turn that into recreation slots for later. Okay, so fog is coming in, but we're not going to worry about that. As long as we have access to the resources we need and we have enough resources to build with, we are not going to get panicked about the fog being too close. The conviction bonus that it starts to give them is, is, is pretty negligible. And at any time, we can, uh, when it gets too close, we can just uh, push it back for no cost at all. Just time. You can see they've both gone to sleep, so they're gonna they're going to not get anything, uh, no negative conviction for not having slept outside and so on. Conviction can really cause a lot of problems uh, if you let it uh, if you start to let it overwhelm you. So it's important to just kind of really uh, build a system early on that's going to keep that manageable and not let it get uh, creep away on you too much. There's a lot of little nuanced things in this game that if you just forget to do, you can get a, a, into a, a very bad spiral where things just start to break down. Okay, so the research has all been done, and we're not going to stop. As soon as that research is done, we are going to continue. So the next thing we want to do is to actually start growing the gut berries, be able to farm them, because the limited amount we have, because we are not pushing the fog back, we are only going to be access to the ones we have, which is fine for a day or two, but we are going to start to have to farm ourselves, because there will be a point where we will be using gut berries to push the fog back. You know, he can get an early jump during the night on it while the other guys are sleeping. Okay, you have to balance this, this guy researching versus your resources. Um, I'm happy with where my resources currently are at. So I prefer him to spend his time researching while they're sleeping. They should wake up pretty soon. And you're gonna see they go grab food and they just eat. They have nowhere else to eat, right? So now we're gonna pause it for a quick second and look at him and we're gonna see what is, what's going on. He's still craving recreation, right? They're feeling slightly unsafe. That's because the fog is so close, but it's only minus five. 
This is slept outside a bedroom, minus 2.5. That would have been minus 30 if they had slept outside on the ground. So this is, this is tolerable. Eight outside of a dining room is only minus one. So these are pretty negligible and not ones we're going to worry about so much as this craving recreation and plus the uh, food not being cooked are, are massive, right? So again, research has become primary. And then when not researching, continue to gather and keep an eye on your, your gut berry as far as meals go. Okay, so the research is done. All right, so now we can build farms and we will do that, but then we want to uh, immediately build um, into this gourmet. So we can get a kitchen, but because we're going to get a kitchen set up, it is also time to think about how we have to wire that. And if you remember what I checked before, it had to be elevated, so it cannot have anything below it. So uh, we're going to do this law uh, like this. Um, the first thing we're going to do actually is establish gardens. So we want to look and see, can we squeeze them in over here? Because I'd like them to be on this side. Uh, I've got very planner. Yes, it will fit. And will it fit here? Yes, it will. So I'll just put two there and that's going to be more than enough for now. So we have those going. There's no priority. Um, we have still lots of gut berries around. So it's, this is not that urgent. When they get to it, they get to it. But the other thing we're going to do is start to think about our kitchen. So the way I'm going to do this is here's our main stairs going down. You cannot build upon that. Um, I'm going to put the other stairs here and you just run it to there to the second level. Okay. And then because that's going to be a secondary level and we're going to need access, we also are going to have to build and complete this. And this is the um, wood area. And we're just going to run that like, like that. And that will complete in because we made these ones out of wood, right? This is going to be all wood. So it becomes one floor that they can pass through. So we'll get the stairs built, we'll get this wood built, and then we'll continue past there once that's done. <coughs> Don't, and I don't give them too much to do. I don't start saying, oh, I'm going to plan this, I'm going to do this, is because I want them to focus on the things they need done immediately. This research is almost done. Now, I'm not going to start more research because I want this built up. I want everybody back on harvesting, building things up. Okay, so that's done. So the most immediate thing we have to think about now is the fact that we have no light here. So we're going to take lighting and we'll make this one orange. And we're going to go there as well as here. And we'll see if that does it. Um, and again, I'm gonna just jump these to priority five so that I'm sure that they'll build them as fast as possible. And while they're doing that, I can start to plan out the next little part. So um, we're gonna be coming off this like this. We're going to build a offshoot and we're going to build it as far as it will go and that is its limit just four out okay and so that's all we're going to do there is just go four out like that and then we'll double check our room requirement on the discovery it has to be elevated so now a scullery does not have to be particularly big. So we can just simply go over the wall and we're going to go five high in this. I like to do the second floor five high. It gives me the option to do four wide lofted if I have to. Um, and so one, two, three, four. All right, so there's three spots in there. And that should be enough for what I want to do here. I like to conserve space because this is not going to be a kitchen. It's not going to have very much in it and that'll be enough space. So we'll just go like this for high. 
And so this will be stone, and then I'll bridge across the top. Okay, so we're gonna go for a five high wall, just like that, right? And so then what we'll do is simply take the flooring and go across there, and we'll let them build that. Now, don't forget, you've gotta put your hallways in. Why am I putting one here? Well, you may see in a minute. You, you may have, you may already have the idea because if you can see what she's doing, she's actually farming from the second floor. And then we'll check her light down here. So we need one more. This room is big enough that it's gonna need at least one more. And we'll, I'm pretty sure one will be enough. Priority five. And the other thing we'll do, check about storage. And you can see chest. We need smoke sticks, okay? So once that happens, I'm simply gonna go and tell them to priority five, harvest, and we'll do two of them. So that'll give us a smoke stick that we need to build chests. The other thing we have to build down, just to get started, is the wand shaper. So crafting, we need a wand shaper. We will adjust its positioning like this and put it right there. And that'll be fine and we're gonna prioritize five on that as well and then the last thing that we want to get them uh, working towards is a gruel pot and the gruel pot could simply just sit right here just like that and we'll also tell that to be a we'll tell that to be a four so we got all that set up to get going Check our lights. It's all lit up perfectly. We'll have to, of course, add them up here in a minute once it's built. And of course, we can always put them in now. And I think that we'll just uh, we'll go with like this, and we'll put two in. There we go. Oh, not enough materials. We are probably missing uh, the rat stuff. So, of course, we'll just uh, find a couple rats, a little bit of a priority to it, and then do that, and away we go. And then, of course, we can, by now, put our light in. Oh, that's something that doesn't look good about that. Four back, okay. We'll change it up a bit. And there we go. We'll kind of let that finish up. Anyhow, so that'll be completed, and that's kind of how I do the first, uh, that was just not even two days, uh, basic layout based on what's being handed to me, and in order to make sure that we are... Uh, going to be happy with how things go uh, in the next episode i will continue past this and, and show you how i continue along to to build this and hopefully we're going to build up a tremendously powerful school of mages with uh, lots of good fire warriors um, if you like the video hit the like button consider subscribing i make lots of contents for games like this uh, oxygen not included uh, this game uh, mind over mages uh, as well as darkest dungeon and, and others uh, uh, feel free to leave a comment if you think there's something I could have done better or uh, that I'm, I missed or I'm doing um, maybe not as efficiently as, as uh, what, what you know. Um, but well, with that being said, have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.